Good morning, good morning from Sunshine Coast, Queensland in Australia. I'm um, doing another pour with the uh, new colours that I received from the uh, Montmartre uh, Studio Acrylics. Absolutely, I buy, obviously buying the two litres is far more beneficial than buying two uh, little tubes of paint. So. Uh, these are great, nice, thick and creamy and highly pigmented. These are the new colours and this gold is just gorgeous. I'm so happy with that. It's very, very lovely. Today I'm going to uh, do a um, oh spiral pour. I'm going to use this in this kind of centre-ish. Anyway, I will get along and tell you as I go along. My pouring recipe is what I've been using is the 70% PVA, 30% water pre-mixed. My recipe and suppliers, online suppliers for orders are all underneath uh, in the drop down box. So have a look down there because I also explain my pouring medium recipe and my, um, yeah, the products I use. And there is also links down there for beginners videos. But yes, have a look in the drop down box for any information that you may want. Uh, like I said, yeah, information there for beginners. And I think I've got a link also for gloss coating or to the, at least the playlist that um, I use for the, for the gloss coatings. I know lots of people ask me. So these colours are just turned out beautiful. I'm really, really happy with them. So I'm very, very happy, like a kid in a candy shop, um, playing with paint. So, Sunday morning here in Australia, I'm not sure when this will be released, but um, it's Sunday and it's very, very humid because we've had a lot of rain. So, not too nice outside. It's like, it's basically like April showers, but a month earlier. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the whole paint, a uh, uh, whole paint, the whole canvas in paint first of all. So, so I've got some chunky bits in there. Okay, get going with this. So using your fingers is obviously um, so therapeutic will I say for me somebody that uh, doesn't mind getting my hands messy I love it um, but if you cho so choose and you don't want to do this you just can spend your time and do it nicely with the spatula which I do sometimes but this is my most favorite and it's quickest and it's no problem doing it because the paint self levels basically when you've got it at this consistency uh, We'll just go with it. There's plenty of paint on there. There's some little, there's a few odd little things in there which I might get out as I go along, but I'm not too worried. Mixed media, that's it, mixed media. All in there, okay. So the next thing you need to do is obviously um, have your paint prepared. Um, which I have and I'm all excited about. Um, I probably would be better using a clear circle so you can, yeah, maybe I'll use the clear instead of this one so you can actually see what I'm doing as I go around it. So I'm just plonking that. You can be absolutely methodical and <coughs> Oh, here we go. Put a line across and across to get the dead centre, but um, not too methodical, am I, today? Okay, Bind, that's all right. You want to go out? Oh, sorry. She, she barks and makes me jump. Come on, then. Come on, you can't come back in if you go out. Okay, let's go she always wants to be in the art room with me basically lying right under my feet which is not a good thing because obviously I can <laughs> trip okay this is navy that I already made up in the cup Ooh. oh my goodness what am I doing 
I haven't even had a drink of anything. I wanted to go around it nice and neat, but as you know me, I can't do anything that's um, absolutely spot on and methodical. Oh, that's not a very good uh, Anyway, gives you the idea, gives you the idea. I was going to put all of my paints in the, um, I reuse all of my PVA glue um, bottles. They're great for storing your paint and then you've got this nice squirty thing, so they're really great. So that's what that's about. So just reuse your any bottles or cups, just try to reuse them. Um, if you can't, you can't, but at least you try. So I was going to do the circles around, but I'm just going to do... Uh, this is the orange, uh, the orange that they already had. So I'm just going to do little dribbles out. Okay, so I'll use an orange. And then this is the brilliant red. Doing, I should. I'll go all the way around first, see how many, because I've got all these colours. Okay, and then I'll use the magenta. So this is a new one too. Not too worried if I haven't got it perfect. Um, probably next time I will try putting all my colours into the bottles to squirt them out. But, you know, do what you um, feels best at the time. So this is the pink. I might put the pink in there. Put the yellow. And go with the purple. So that was the uh, mid yellow. They do have a lemon yellow too. But, um, okay, da 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 da. This is the silver. use the oh just use the light purple dark purple purpley purple um i'll use the aqua aqua green do it over here so you can see it all beautiful colors really lovely and then the viridian which is like a real teal color beautiful I think that's, oh no, here we go. I've got the Burnt Sienna. I might bring this over here. I think I called it yesterday Burnt Umber, but obviously I was wrong. I'd say Burnt Umber, but it's Burnt Sienna. Now this gold is to die for. It is beautiful, even when it's dried. So, okay. Those are the colours, I think. I'm going to just now go round with a bit of bling. I'm going to bling it up. Put in a bit of gold here, there and everywhere. I'll bring in some of the other colours again now. So it's kind of a spirally. Just got another little plan for the centre, whether it works or not. It's, it's all trial and error, as you know. You just give it a go. So kind of... Um, this is like your colour wheel, isn't it? It's uh, definitely a colour wheel. I'll add some more of the silver in there because I'll be putting... So the silver and gold are metallic, even though it does, it's not saying metallic on the bottle, but you can clearly see that it is metallic. And they're dry, dry so sheeny shiny it's gorgeous okie dokie exciting with these colors lovely okay so this is the red again brilliant red Ooh, i think i'll 
I think it would definitely be far easier to control these colours with um, if I put them in bottles. But this is it, you live and learn, my mistake. So if you're going to have a go at this, please try and put your colours in, in, um, in, the, in the bottles or the little, you know, I've got some other squeegee bottles there which I should have used, but I didn't. So. Far easier if I'd have put them in bottles and squeezed these colours out around. Um, so, naughty me, never mind. Okay, just want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel um, and subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, it's just a wonderful thing for me to do and if anybody learns from even <laughs> learns from my mistakes I'm absolutely fine with that uh, and I will show you the good with the bad I won't always put up perfect pores because I don't want to let you see or think that uh, if you you know do something that's not perfect that it's not good enough because everybody tries and even artists have uh, bad pour days they just don't normally like to uh, show them but there's definitely no um, judging on my channel or my um, acrylic art page and now I've got um, I've got an acrylic art by Julie Cube and I've now started uh, by request a, a group and it's the Australian acrylic pourers group so if you go to I try I will if I can manage it, I will put a link on the bottom of this video of my pourers group. So what I want to do there is probably not post so much of my own work because that will be on my acrylic art page. But I want you guys to have a platform to show each other and more than anything, it be a kind, safe place for you all to show each other your pours. I will get to absolutely see um, what you put up there um, but of course because I'm so busy with my answering my uh, YouTube comments and or as many as I can at least reading them and my own acrylic art page then we have moderators on the other pages on the other uh, Australian acrylic page to answer questions and more than anything to help each other so if you guys see anybody being unkind or saying unkind things to anyone, please just call them out on it and uh, let one of the moderators know. Because um, we don't want that. We want safe place. All righty. All righty. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. What will she do with that now? <laughs> um, do I take this out before or should I leave it in? I'll take it out. So, so. Uh, no, I won't do that. I'll leave that out and I will. I want to give them a swipe around the edge with this navy. So swiping in the, the colours out. Okay, and now I've made up a diddy, a diddy, or uh, what others would say, a small. In England, I don't know, my mum used to call anything small diddy. Maybe it was, um, I don't know where she got it from, maybe somebody knows, but if it was small, you're diddy, you're very diddy. So this is my diddy swifty swipe. I've just put it on a old... Um, spatula and I've just put this little bit of soft plastic file divider You're not got to have it the really soft it's got to have a little bit of body to it to be able to swipe out so here we go wish me luck so 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 just one by one okay I need a cloth which I never organized what am I doing okay I'll just leave I've got a cloth here I'll just there you go um 
what's going on there. I think the paint's drying, but I'll work that out as I go along. Maybe I need, that's it. I need to, needed to put a little bit more pressure on it. On the Swifty Swipe. Ooh, wow. Talk about a kaleidoscope of colors. Oh my goodness. I've got just the person in mind for this as I'm seeing it develop. <laughs> wow, we. Wowzers, wowzers. Do you like it? Is it, I mean, obviously, if you're not a colour person, that you won't like it, but it's um, certainly going to be bright. And this swift, little Swifty Swipe's perfect because I was going to use all my small pieces of card, which I do work equally as well. I may use them for the smaller section, but this is just, you have a little bit more control over it because you've got that handle, handle on an angle, should I say. Um, going around. Wowzers, wowzers. Look at that gold. I know lots of people have been asking about my friend Jilly that came over from the UK and painted several times with me um, and she broke her wrist while she was here and I've got lots of people asking how's Jilly. Jilly is doing really well. She did have a big surgery on her hand when she got back to the UK and had pin pins and plates in it but she's doing really well now back at work hard at slogs um, and hopefully Jilly has uh, got started a YouTube channel but I don't think she started uploading videos as yet she may have one or two testers on there that she's gonna obviously she needed to get her wrist back in action properly before she started really getting stuck into her art again Wow, this is quite therapeutic in itself. I think if anybody um, wants to do this that needs just some relaxation and it's actually very nice. Very nice to do, very nice pastime. That's just me anyway. Probably gone too far as I normally do. I probably shouldn't do so many, but you know, my art room, my rules. So it's the same when you do it, you can do it exactly how you choose to, my loves. Okay. Probably didn't need as much as the navy, but you know, I did. <laughs> I've done it. So maybe if you're doing it, not so much of the navy. Alrighty, I'm not going to um, do any more of the swiping, but I will. Well, that little, the mini Swifty swipe. The mini Swifty swipe did well. I'm just going to bring my wand to give a bit of cells. If you don't want cells, don't, don't add any silicon and don't add any heat. The heat does burst the bubbles, but... As you, if you'd watched the previous video when I made up this paint, it only had one drop of silicone in each cup. So 
what I want to do is get my little, I have got some, these were paints that I already had made up and they contain poster paint, but there's not too much paint in each one. So I thought that maybe I can just use these to embellish the center. Um, and we'll give it a go. These are poster paint, but obviously probably would have been, they're the Montmartre poster paint. Um, and it would have been nice if I had all the little cups made up of my acrylics, but I haven't. So I'm going to try this. Oh, what is, I have not got a steady hand. And it would have been nice if I'd got a perfect circle in the centre, but I haven't, so... I will try and quicken it up for you when I um, try to edit this video, but... Don't fancy your chances of me... Um, quickening it up too much. Last time I quickened my video up, I didn't alter the sound and so I sounded like a chipmunk. But never mind. So yes, you can see how well these little bottles do work if you've got a steady hand when you're trying to get a bit of detail in there. If this doesn't work out very nice, I will just swipe it, swipe it, or all else fails, put a nice big balloon in it. Actually, that might be the go, hey? Actually, I think that may be the go. I just have a little go with something that I was thinking of, and if not, I will balloon it with a nice big balloon in the centre. So, so, I've got a... Um, a skewer just a wooden skewer bamboo skewer so I'm just gonna start doing some little embellishments so I will need my cloth again start wiggling these out so have fun with your embellishing just just have a go if you haven't done this before because the embellishing is very therapeutic it's really nice if you're sitting down to to do these bits and um, just yeah just going along and doing whatever your heart leads you to do I suppose and this is uh, this is nothing new um, as I certainly know being the age I am there's there's nothing new anymore nobody's created anything it's all been done before so nothing special ooh so what do you think of those whirly gigs just adds a bit of now don't be surprised if you see the pictures at the end and I have ballooned it because just because now I am curious but those look quite nice I must admit they do look nice just add a little bit of point of interest now you can either leave your your starburst or you can start to embellish that a bit with a few swirly lines which is quite nice So I have to tell you when I, I was actually had a message from or an email from the YouTube creators to say that they were choosing me to be trended on their trending page on Friday I think it was um, and I, I was like gobsmacked because you know little old me out of millions of um, YouTubers out there. It's uh, YouTubers on the rise, I think they called it, but they were going to have a section where they trend. I think it's two YouTubers a week on their trending page um, 
for up and coming, you know, that have, yeah, so I mean, uh, they t did tell me it was a new thing they were starting, so that even blew mine and my husband's mind even more to think that I got on it, I believe it was the first day that they were doing it. So thank you, YouTube. I love you. You've given a, a grandma and my children and my grandchildren so much um, joy from me being able to do this, something that I love, sharing with everybody. So thank you, YouTube. Thank you, thank you. I still don't know anything about these YouTube algorithms. I have no idea how that gizmo works, but you know, I'm learning every day, so. Oh my goodness, I'm going out of town with this. So much fun. Please try it. Please post your finished work on my um, Australian Acrylic Pourers group on Facebook. If you're over there, I would love to have you join us and post your work. Um, it's going to be a safe, kind place. I'm absolutely, you know, ha uh, going to make sure that all of you help one another and are kind to each other. And we're not going to have anybody uh, put down for sure or made to feel less than anyone else. So, guys, okay, I'm rambling on. I'm having so much fun with that. I'm not going to touch the centre. Promise. Promise. I've got my fingers crossed. Okay. It's long enough. Thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. So appreciative. Press the little notification bell. Tell me what you think. I will put some photos on afterwards. And in a few days' time, I will post the dry work on my Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube Facebook page. Now, I must put a big dot on my hand to remember to put the link to our new Australian pouring group. But anybody in the world is free to join. So I even need to get a few of the US and UK moderators, maybe. So I'll talk with the other girls about that. Um, bye for now. Thanks for joining me. Until next time.